Hey folks, Captain Dave here. Trying to get a little collection of these three yachts. And there's two of them right there. But that really isn't the reason for this video. The real reason for this video is I was on YouTube the other day. And I'm looking at videos about snelling a hook. And what really got me is, is everything these dudes are doing on, on YouTube to snell a hook. Okay, I'll start out with one guy. I can't even remember where it was. One guy is using like a tube off the spray, you know, uh, nozzle that WD-40 gives you. Okay, like a little straw. So he could hold that against and make loops and all this stuff. Snelling a hook is something I do every day when I'm out. And the reason I do it is because it's such a strong knot. And I brought it up to another guy on YouTube. Is snelling a hook just with a straight eye. Just a regular hook with a straight eye. Always seems to put undue stress on the mono when you got the snell. But what I wanted to show you here. I got one right here. This is what I'm talking about. That is a snell. That is a snell with what I call a turned in eye. Okay? And you can make this in three seconds. You know, I mean, it doesn't take no time at all to make that where that's so strong the hook has to break. For this to come off okay and that's what I'm going to show you because you may be one of those people that I know who's broke out on your own you're kind of flying on your own now getting your own boat you're gonna be out there tying hooks and of course everybody likes the way Captain Dave does it because it's a proven way and it's easy it's fast and most of all what I do is really strong okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this 50 pound red Cajun line there you go and I am going to get out a big old hook that's just an example that right there is an eagle claw turned in eye bait holder because it's got these little barbs on the back I'm not really into the whole bait holder situation thing because those little barbs ain't doing much but they are weak points in the hook so but I'm gonna hopefully show you something here I'm gonna do it first I'm just gonna run through snelling a hook turned in eye and then after all that, I'm going to show you the benefits of and the how-to. Okay, so if I'm standing there on my boat, I don't know how you're going to do all this. If you're doing all this laying a hook down and putting a little straw that you got in your pocket. How are you doing that bouncing around a four-foot seas? That's what I want to know. Obviously, that person who's doing that with that straw thing to tie a snell on a hook isn't bouncing around and four foot seas. I'm going to show you how to tie it. I'm just going to do it. I throw tag end around, tag end laid against the hook shank. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a snell, folks. None of this BS that you're seeing on YouTube. There it is. Done. 
Oop. Get my scissors. Get my scissors out here. Go up here. There you go. Snelled hooks with turned in eyes. There's no other way to do it. You want to, okay, well, let's go into the reasons why and how now. You want a turned in eye when you do snell hooks, I believe. This is my belief. You want it, because see, I can take this and I can move that little hangman's noose, which that's all that is, up and down the hook. And then watch, when I move that down and I pull, that's a straight run right out the eye. If this, eye, if this hook had a straight eye, meaning straight up instead of curved over, when you take this line through the eye, there it is, I'm pulling it out the eye. If that was straight through, you're either going to go around the back side and then you're going to go through the eye and what's the uh, what's the hook end up doing when you pull it tight or what's the line end up doing is the line ends up laying in the bend of the eye and what is in there a groove okay not it's not that bad when you've got a turned in eye because when you run the line from your snell, okay, I'm trying to turn the line. When you line the, run the line through your snell, and when you're tying it, there you go. I'm pulling straight down because that's how you're fishing it. It is a straight run from the top of the snell knot right through the eye. No curving around and going through an eye. So this is what I use on a daily basis. This is how I bottom fish. This is how I do everything. I love a snell and I love a turned in eye. All right. Here is probably the most used hook on my entire, on my whole boat. Matsuo, one aught or two aught. It's a very small hook for being that size. Turned in eye bait holder because it's got these two little, and I could really do without those because that's where the hook breaks eventually. I could do without these two little slices to help hold your bait on. Sickle bend. Look at the difference. Round bend, sickle bend. It goes boop. And then it turns. I love this hook. And everybody I get on my boat, I show them how this hook will hang on your fingerprint. You can go buy owner hooks. You can go buy gamagatsus. You can go buy everything that's more expensive than these. And it won't be any strong. It won't be any... It won't be any uh, sharper. If you're looking for a sharp hook, this Matsuo is the way to go. They don't give me hooks. They don't give me nothing. They give me absolutely nothing. Because I've asked them, can I buy a box of a thousand of these? Oh, no, we only sell them in 25 packs and blah, 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 blah for, for, for dealers, whatever. But that's my favorite hook. And no matter how small it is, it is a piece of cake to snell. All right. Through the eye. And let me tell you something. Every bit of not tying, especially doing the snell, has nothing to do with anything, really, except finger placement. How are you holding the hook? That dictates about everything. So there I form a loop. Bam. <laughs> That's sticking to my fingers, just holding onto it. There's a snell. 
Okay, now let's go over how I actually do this. For all of you out there who would love the Snell, and you end up going on YouTube, because YouTube is the place for answers. I know, I fixed my damn dryer by watching a guy on YouTube. My clothes dryer. Okay, here we go. There's a big ass hook for you to look at. 50 pound line. You can do it with 10, you can do it with 2, it don't matter. I got a turned in eye. This is how I do it. First thing I do is I take my line, one end, put it through the eye a little bit, just a little bit. Bring this tag end around that's over here, form a loop by holding it against the hook shank. Now you got a circle, one end hanging out. It's all about finger placement. My fingers immediately come in and hold the hook tight against the base of my thumb back here and notice my index finger is just in from this eye. I'm going to take this loop without yanking on it and I'm going to go around, 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 around. It don't matter how many damn times you want to go around. Then I pinch it. I got the loop still here, right? Then I'm going to use my third hand. Draw it through, let it slip, bam! Done. That's a snell. And you, have, you folks out there who want to do snells, and people that I know who want to do a snell, there you go. Done deal. Now, let's see something. I haven't done it in a while. But there is a knot or a way of doing a snell where you don't have both ends. You got one end. What you would do, let's see, I haven't done this in forever. Okay. I don't even think, uh, I think I'm starting it out all, all wrong already. Make a loop. Hold it against the hook. I think this is how we do it. Make a loop. Hold it against the hook. Go around that loop. Round, 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 round. Let's see. You might actually go through the loop again. Right? Then, nah, it's probably going to be wrong. Then through the eye. Hold all of it tight. And pull simultaneously. Yep, yeah, well, there you go. There. Now you got two hooks snelled. So that is how you do it. I haven't done it in a long time. You got this one coming right off, and this one coming right off. So there's a double snell with two hooks. That's getting into something you don't have to worry about. The only thing that you need to worry about, in all reality, and you guys who I'm talking to, you know who you are. Okay, let me cut this loop off of here. You know who you are, and you need to learn how to do this because you've probably already bought these Matsuo hooks, right? <laughs> Thank you.